video, we will install vCenter Support Assistant, configure the virtual appliance, remove vCenter Support Assistant, and update vCenter Support Assistant. Firstly, we will look at installing vCenter Support Assistant. The vCenter Support Assistant is packaged as a virtual appliance, which is available in OVA format. The first thing we need to do is to download the virtual appliance to your chosen directory. In the vSphere web client, select an inventory object that is a valid parent object of a virtual machine. Examples of valid parent objects include a data center, folder, cluster, resource pool, or an ESXi host. Select Actions, All vCenter Actions, Deploy OVF Template. For more information on deploying OVF templates, see the vSphere Virtual Machine Administration Guide. Type the path or the URL to the OVA file and click Next. Then review the OVA details and click Next. Read through and accept the EULA and again click Next. When we come to the step where we must select the name and folder of the deploy OVF template, specify the name of the virtual machine and the folder where the virtual machine is located when deployed. Remember that the name must be unique in each vCenter server. Select the disk format in Select Storage for OVF Template. Note that VMware recommends thin provisioning to conserve data store space. Select the data store for the OVF template and click Next. In Setup Networks, select a source network in the table and map it to a destination network. Click Finish which will deploy the virtual appliance. Power on vCenter Support Assistant and open the Virtual Appliance Console. Navigate to the new Support Assistant's Virtual Machine URL using a web browser. Note that the URL for the configuration interface is displayed in the console when a new Support Assistant Virtual Machine is deployed. Log into the configuration interface as root. Once you've read the privacy terms and conditions, select I understand and consent to vCenter Support Assistant's privacy terms and conditions and click Next. Provide the lookup service address and review its certificate. Here is an example of a lookup service address. Provide your vCenter single sign-on credentials and click Finish. Select the vCenter instances you want to authorize. Then provide credentials for the selected instances and click Next. After that, you must configure your proxy settings. Once you have done this, click Next. And finally, configure your email addresses and click Finish. You will see the lookup service address and the status of vCenter server instances in the overview page. Now we will look at removing vCenter support assistant. To do this, navigate to the configuration interface and select overview. Click uninstall, then OK. Now we will look at updating vCenter support assistant. Note that this procedure cannot be used to upgrade from vCenter support assistant 5.1.1. To upgrade from that version, see Knowledge Base Article 2042454. To update vCenter Support Assistant, navigate to Configuring the Virtual Appliance and then into VA Updates. To see a list of all updates, click Check Updates. If there are any available updates, click Install. Read the EULA and click Accept to install the updates. This concludes our look at installing, upgrading and uninstalling VMware vCenter Support Assistant 5.5. For more tutorials, subscribe to the VMware KB YouTube channel and our blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.